Well, good morning, friends. Today we are preparing for a vacation. So you're gonna come along with me today as I get packing done, some last minute house projects, house things done to take care of before we go on our trip. There's always little things that need to be done before you go and some last minute cleaning, some laundry's already in the washing machine, the dishwasher's going. So there's just always things to get done before you head out for vacation. I need to clean out the vehicle real quick, <laughs> vacuum that out, get it kind of packed up, and then also take care of a few things at our little Airbnb because we have some more guests coming. So just get that ready and make sure it's all set for the people coming. And so you're just gonna come along today and have a full day of preparing for a vacation. So I also make lists when I go on a trip. So let me know if you're a list maker when you go on trips. And I double check it multiple times before we go. And I'm adding things, taking things off, and making sure I have everything on that list. So let's continue with our packing. I'm gonna be packing in our room. There is a washer and dryer where we're staying. So I'm gonna to try to be a little more minimal on what I bring, because we can always wash clothes. So let's continue. I'm gonna drink some more coffee and go pack. All right, so I think for clothes, I always struggle a little bit, especially when I go with my family, because sometimes we do hiking, sometimes we'll go somewhere more formal. So I've got, like, it's supposed to be cooler too than I'm expecting, and maybe rain. So I've got like a pair of joggers, I might even sleep in, some capri pants, like a nicer um, cotton short, a couple athletic shorts, sometimes I wear those swimming too. And then I just have one pair of jeans and a sweatshirt my red dress and a sweater. I'm gonna wear a dress driving, a swimsuit, and then like a razor back workout type shirt for if we go hiking or something, and then a couple tees, um, like a little dressier, and then like a tank top shirt, and then a worded shirt, and then just like undergarments and stuff like that. For my husband, I did pack a few things, so he's got some stuff he runs. Um, he's a pretty avid runner, so I packed a couple running outfits for him, a couple t-shirts. We're really not going anywhere too fancy that I know of. So that's gonna be about it. And I can always wash clothes. I have to underpack for me. So I think I should be good with that. I'm not sure if I need anything else or not, another long sleeve. I'll check the weather one more time just to make sure if I need like a rain jacket or something too. Then of course we'll get some shoes and all of that stuff and get a bag to pack it in. So the car is all cleaned out. I got it wiped down a little bit and then added a few extra essentials in there like bug spray and some towels and extra set of clothes, things like that. And then um, my littlest woke up from her nap super short. It seems like on days you wanna get more accomplished, those naps sometimes happen to be shorter. So we're gonna run a few errands real quick that I have to take care of again before we go as well. So we're just going to take the stroller in go to those places we need to stop at. This is always one of my favorite places when it's lily season to stop and just look at and admire. So pretty. So our errands took a little longer because we ended up walking out to my husband's work because also his mulberries on his tree at work are really in season. So I take advantage of mulberry picking when it's in bloom. I made mulberry jam yesterday. I froze in some. So it's just nice to take advantage of the fruit that's in season.
All right, lunch is a very random. Just trying to use some leftovers. A little chicken, carrots, cucumbers, some sweet potato, cottage cheese, drinking some kombucha, cut up the rest of a watermelon. So this will be our simple affair for lunch today. All right, I think I'm gonna dump my flowers outside. Some of them, like these Husker Red, are doing pretty well, but some of them are a little droopy and I don't want them to be really stinky, like the water gets stinky when we get back. So time to get rid of them. This one on our table too is iffy, so I'll probably just go dump those. Maybe I'll clip a few fresh ones because they would last for over a week because this one has lasted over a week already too. So I might just go clip a few fresh ones too just to have for tonight. fresh touch of some more daisies. I restocked my napkins in the colander and my forks so we're ready for the next meal. Okay a few things I need to run over to the little house. I actually need one more set of sheets and then another mattress protector. So I'm gonna do that and um, get some fruit ready as well over there again. I'm gonna go quite as planned. My youngest must be teething or something. So I held her for some of her nap and then I was able to put her back down. But I need to get some taco meat going because we're going as my family. Um, there's 20 of us going and so I am providing one supper. So I'm gonna make taco meat and freeze it and then take it. So I am going to brown up six pounds of hamburger here and just get it all made and done so that it is ready for whatever night we decide to do tacos. I don't know if any of you are like me, but I can definitely drink a hot latte no matter the temperature. I will take a hot latte over an iced latte any day. So I have my latte here to keep working on the meat. So watering had to happen again as it is so hot and when I'm gone I know I need to prepare for taking care of my plants. If you're a gardener you know it takes a lot of work to be gone especially when you have a lot of gardens. So I just did a little more watering and the girls are in the pool so I will empty the pool later and use that water as well for my plants behind me but it's just kind of nice to sit down here outside enjoy the breeze and watching my girls play. So here's what it is. It's kind of just a good way to use some of our leftovers. I used barley instead of orzo and then just some carrots, some chicken, um, some heavy cream in there and I didn't have Parmesan so I just grated mozzarella and then some fresh garden parsley. All right, dishes are all done. We have one daughter down. I got all the taco meat in the freezer bag so that will be really handy to just pull out when we want to eat it on vacation.
what a night. It's been a very full day. I haven't finished everything quite yet. Got the kitchen kind of cleaned up. I need a swipe of the floor. I'm gonna put my chamomile that I picked this morning in a jar because it's dried and um, keep preserving that and picking it every morning. But I'm looking forward to vacation. I got all our sandwich meat um, and bread cut and fruit washed and veggies cut. So everything's prepped for tomorrow because it's gonna be a bright and early morning. So hope you enjoyed coming along today.